Okay, so as I'm saying before, uh, if you don't have the lines, this kind of e big lines, channel lines on your chart, it's going to be so difficult to understand where the market is going, alright? So what, what I'm saying here is that when you know that this is a down channel, okay, this is a down channel, so all you want to do is that you want to wait for a retest of this top here right here so when you wait for a retest and the price finally comes back to retest it all right to retest it yeah then you have your entry and you remain inside this entry okay until until it either breaks up which shows you that that is the end of the channel and you exit all your down possible trades okay or it breaks down this bottom yellow one and continues to move down which means extension to the downward moves and is the most profitable so what am I trying to say here is that some traders will come and enter this market around the middle okay they will come enter the market around the middle and when I say around the middle what I'm saying is oh sorry let me see something okay there's no problem they come and enter here somewhere around here anticipating to take a downward move right from this kind of middle okay right from here they say okay I take a downward move and I'm gonna remain in the trend okay and look at what happened a big spike up which knock a lot of them out of the market all right you see the best entry strategy is the channel which I, I, I'm showing you now and the secret is that you will never pick any trade except you see a retest to the upper upper channel line when you get this kind of retest to the upper channel line this is when you pick the trade moving along the direction of the trend until you wait to see a breakout to the top breaking the top yellow 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 channel when you up your trade and say bye bye to the market or you draw another channel and you continue moving on with another channel okay now right here the market have come down through this channel and right here now it's getting flat this is a flat inside this red bar very flat all right so it's trading sideways this is a flag okay now when you see this kind of things here what does it shows you some traders will just come here say okay they will interpret it like okay we have not breaking the top of the red this is our support our resistance we have not broken it then we are likely to go down and because we didn't break this red top they will say it is down then we are going down because they are tired of sitting down analyzing and sitting in front of the market 
all right but one thing about this big channel strategy is that you don't even need to sit down and analyze the market it's about the channel let the market goes where it wants to go all you know is that the market will move right inside the channel now but to me as someone who have been sitting down to learn the chart and knows about the chart is that this is a flat and anytime you see a flat there's going to be a spike okay either to the top or to the bottom there's going to be a spike no doubt about it okay so what is happening here now when I put a new line here okay I have seen a divergence away from the bottom of this red line moving higher moving higher moving higher and what does this mean to me it only means nothing to me but what it means to me is that I should go and get ready to put my number three entry this is number one where it retests number two it retests and number three retests is coming this is what I'm anticipating and I'm gonna wait for it this will climb 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 and go and spike up and retest anyone here who put a cell around here they're gonna hear they're gonna find it difficult because they're gonna lose their market okay but this is a retest is coming this is what this is talking about a retest is coming so that is what I wanna go wait for a retest so that is that nothing more than nothing more than this in trading okay now I want to show you another way that you can you know you can draw your chart uh, that you can keep your chart very simple and and make it not difficult let's say for example I have removed this uh, trend line I remove this red horizontal trend line remove all remove this one too remove this and now let us go back to history though I'm not a history student but sorry let us go back I wanna prove something to you about the channel that I'm drawing here okay now look at let's say we wanna pick another moves here okay men looking at this nobody knows what is going on here you just have to say man this is bullshit and why am I gonna pick this kind of stuff but don't get confused don't get confused just pick your channel pick your channel line get to work this is what you want to do take a look at it ever before we go up this is the bottom it made this is the top it ever made okay this is the top it ever made so what are you anticipating it came from here bounce up maybe you missed this moves this is a big hop move you missed it so definitely you want to go wait for it okay you might follow it and come down you might ride down with it of course you may ride down with it there's no problem ride down with it okay when you ride down with it then you put your entry to ride up again okay once it has hit the top it must surely come down okay this is exactly what I'm gonna tell you let's say now it came here to make a high top again right so you will ride it to the bottom okay ride it to the bottom again but look at what happens here like I told you before look at what happened here it has broken the bottom while you ride down it has broken the bottom it came to retest the same bottom and it has gone down okay it broke the bottom maybe you know fast enough you missed this move 
but it came back to retest it and it went down okay now what do you do while it retest it okay we're gonna put another channel this is the where it retest retest is the top all right and this is the okay the retest is the top and this is the bottom okay and this is the bottom the retest this retest is the top okay this is the retest is the top and here the bottom okay of the channel so what I'm saying what I'm saying here is that sorry now the channel changed you ride from here okay you ride okay you you're here you ride down eh? you ride down and it, it's gonna go up here you bounce up with it you take it right from hitting this line all right good but now you pick it down to ride down and you rode with it downward all right you rode with it downward uh, why you ride with it down look at that. the trend has changed you are in big profit to ever ride with a channel down okay you ride down with it and then it changed it came back to the test and uh, here comes another channel where you are in a big profit okay so definitely what is this telling you until you get here you are in a very big profit my friend you are in a big a big a big profit a big time profit you are if you are the type who know how to use this kind of you know patterns strategy channel I think uh, I should say that the sky is your limit the sky is your limit in trading okay now let me tell you one other thing here about how to draw your channel there are different there are different kind of channels that we can draw in trading okay you can pick a line and draw a line just like this to let the price rise on it and whenever the price break it you get out of it if this is how you like to draw your line all right whenever the price is gone above your line and breaks it see you draw another one going down it came to retest it and now it's going down all right but <clears throat> in our case on all these channel channel line look at look at something when it went down it got here came back tested it this is another entry to be down all right then you follow it down it get here bounce on it our channel trend line is up but now we are we are scalping it has bounced on it now what we do we follow it up what weighs our target when it hits this line this is where we want to set our target which is what look at the, the line look at here this is where we want to target it is not because it hit it but because this is where it's gonna hit our target not here not here not here but this one where it hit before this is where we're gonna hit our target and we get out of this market and you can even target anywhere anywhere around this line as long as it's gonna go hit it okay you can target anywhere all your target wants to be 
once it hits this line you are getting out of it then you follow it down again you hold you hold down with it see when it hit the line maybe you are off you cut yourself off because you set your take profit you are off but at least you never lose but still look at it bounced down broke the channel bounce down from up channel up to down bounce down now you have wait for it where's your target it's gonna go hit that channel which you draw up that up line retested it has gone to hit it all right so now you want to follow it ride it down down okay where is your down take a look at this point here this is where it hit the force so definitely you want to target somewhere around here okay it came oh it, it hit it all right now you want to follow it up where do you want to get your target you want to follow it up where do you want to get your target our trend is going down you know that it's gonna go hit it's gonna go hit that the top we are having the top we are having on our trend is where it's gonna go hit so you want to go do what you want to target somewhere around here around here yeah target somewhere around here right and now you want to follow it down you want to go down with it so you know that it's just gonna go hit that line below the bottom okay so where is it gonna hit the bottom you just want to do so yourself a favor just draw a line here to a line here and then when it get here you take your profit and get out of it all right okay you see how it came and hit it okay it hit it and all the way it become choppy okay although it didn't hit that ye yellow bottom but became choppy but later went back to hit that yellow bottom then hitting the yellow bottom what is next the next is to go and hit the top so definitely you want to be in for it and target somewhere in the top so where is the top you look at the last top okay you draw your line this is outside of it you draw your line this is outside of it you draw your line this is outside of it okay you draw your line okay maybe this one you pick this one you say okay this is where it will hit this line then you pick it up you wait for it to hit it yeah to hit it okay you've taken the trade from here see here now the trade is here there's no problem just wait for him to come and hit this trend line before you put another down entry so i hope this helps thank you take care and before then right in here the market is getting flat and flat so what we want to do here is that we want to put a a big line here okay because we need to see things in in a clear way if we can't see things properly then there is 100 percent ways to make mistakes all right make mistakes mistakes are so easy to make okay in this you have to open your eyes that's why even traders are technicians okay now some traders might look at this chart and say okay because of this channel line uh, i'm able to draw my channel line my channel line is going down so definitely let me let me get a down entry from this point you see this is where many traders destroy their account and kill their account for nothing sake all right even some traders will say okay i have drawn my two red support and resistance line very small okay very small but it's it, it, it's testing the top it's testing the top testing the top three test to the top it can never break the top three test so let me enter short and go down with it right from here you see this is why many traders destroy their account right honestly believe in me uh, many traders kill their account so fast as fast as possible because of you know lack of 
good decision right judgment and the eyes is not open to it what is going on in the chat as long as we have seen the the last test ever that it tested the price tested the top yellow line okay and now we have seen the last test of the bottom okay this is the last test and now it's been trying to go retest the bottom but it cannot get to the bottom anymore but it's debating 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 and this division is saying what okay this is the last test to the bottom definitely we're waiting for it to go and test the top all right so now these are the moves that will bring that action where it will go and test the top and how do you know about this let me show you something if i have to draw my if i have to draw my lines here you will understand what i'm saying clearly you know there's something here let me get this one away first i want to show you something so that we can see it properly there's something going on here What do you see if you take a proper look you see what if you take a proper look on this you will see that okay separation total deviation from the previous bottom okay look at this is a deviation from the bottom if you take a proper look at it you will understand what I'm saying okay this is the bottom the red is the bottom but from the time it hit this red okay which represent the present final bottom there have been a deviation away from this bottom up to this point so definitely what is this telling you a triangle has been formed so definitely where is it going the triangle is trending up so what is the up signifying that it is a movement going to hit that yellow up line this is what is going to happen okay and what does this red line mean here where we get the, the, the final top the recent lower top definitely by forming a triangle there's going to be a kind of blast out okay there's going to be a blast out in the market it will blast to the top okay it will break out to the top it will be a breakout to the top and it will hit only only hit this yellow line where there will be maybe it break it and start going up or it break it and a downward movement will continue thank you fellow traders for listening thank you so much watch out for my next lesson as i present it to you good luck